Millions in Syria and Iraq are facing water shortages as the region's longest river, the Euphrates, dries up. The Euphrates River is one of the most important rivers in the world, stretching from Turkey to Iraq. It has been an integral part of life in the region for centuries. However, recent reports have emerged that the river has been drying up at an alarming rate. This unbelievable truth has caused shockwaves across the region. And now it's time to uncover the truth behind this phenomenon. In this, we'll explore the science behind the drying of the Euphrates River and what it means for the future of this vital waterway. The Euphrates River has long been a symbol of life in the Middle East, and it's hard to believe that this mighty river could ever dry out. But that's exactly what happened earlier this year. And the unbelievable truth about why this happened is something everyone needs to know. We will explore the circumstances that led to the drying up of the Euphrates River and the implications for the people who rely on it. It's hard to believe, but the truth is that the Euphrates River has dried up. This once mighty river, which has played an integral role in the history of the Middle East for centuries, has now disappeared. We will explore the unbelievable truth about the Euphrates River and the implications of its disappearance. The Euphrates River is one of the longest rivers in the world, running through parts of Turkey, Syria, and Iraq. It is a vital source of water for millions of people in these countries. Yet many have recently heard a shocking rumor that the Euphrates has been drying up. Is this true? In this video, we will explore the unbelievable truth about the Euphrates River. From its geological history to the current state of its waters, so do subscribe to our YouTube channel and like our video for informative videos like this. Without wasting the time, let's dive in. The water level of the Euphrates River has been dropping for years. The Euphrates River is one of the most important rivers in the Middle East. It's used to provide drinking water and irrigate crops, and it's a major source of hydroelectric power. Unfortunately, the river's water level has been steadily dropping over the last several years due to a combination of drought and climate change. In the past, droughts have occurred naturally in the region, but now they are happening more frequently and with more intensity. This has led to less water being available in the river. As temperatures continue to rise due to climate change, the flow of the river is expected to decrease even further. This decline in water level has had severe consequences for the region. The amount of fish and other wildlife in the river has decreased drastically due to the lack of water. Farmers have also been affected, as their crops are unable to get enough water from the river. This has caused crop yields to drop and has made it difficult for them to make a living. The decline in water level has also caused tensions between Turkey and Syria. Turkey controls the headwaters of the Euphrates, so when it decides to divert or reduce the flow of the river, it affects both countries. This has led to increased diplomatic tensions between the two countries. The water level of the Euphrates River is dropping and is having a profound effect on the people and wildlife of the region. Unless something is done to reverse this trend, it could have devastating consequences for everyone involved. Drought and climate change are the main reasons for the decline in water level. The Euphrates River is the longest in Southwest Asia, stretching from Turkey to Iraq. In recent years, however, it has been slowly drying up, leading to several issues that have affected both human and animal life. One of the primary causes of this decline in water level is drought. The region has experienced an increase in periods of intense drought since the late 20th century, resulting in decreased precipitation and much less runoff into the river. This has caused the water level to drop significantly. Climate change is also contributing to the decline in the water level of the Euphrates River. Warmer temperatures are causing more evaporation from the river and the surrounding land, which leads to less water in the river. In addition, more extreme weather events such as storms and floods are also causing more runoff to be lost from the river. The combined effects of climate change and drought are having a devastating impact on the water levels of the Euphrates River, leading to an increase in tension between Turkey and Syria, as well as severe impacts on local wildlife and farmers. The situation is becoming increasingly dire, and action must be taken now to ensure that this vital resource is not lost forever. One way that governments can help is by enacting measures to reduce greenhouse gas emissions, Reducing emissions will help slow the rate of climate change 
and could result in fewer droughts and fewer extreme weather events, improving water supply for humans and animals alike. The decline in water level has led to the death of fish and other wildlife. For years, the water level of the Euphrates River has been steadily dropping due to a combination of drought and climate change. The decline in water level has had a devastating effect on wildlife that depend on the river for sustenance. Fish populations have been greatly affected, as the lack of water has reduced the amount of habitat available to them and drastically decreased food sources. This has led to a decline in the number of certain fish species, such as carp and barbel, while others have gone extinct entirely. Other aquatic life forms, such as amphibians and invertebrates, have also been negatively impacted by the drop in water levels. The decline in water level has also had a major impact on birds that depend on the river for food. Due to the lack of water, many of these species have seen their numbers decrease drastically. Birds such as pelicans and storks have seen significant reductions in their population numbers, while other species, such as ducks, geese, and herons, have seen their numbers decline too. In addition to aquatic life forms, other wildlife that depend on the river for food and shelter have been affected. Mammals such as otters, beavers, and foxes have seen their numbers dwindle due to the lack of food and shelter. Other animals, such as reptiles, amphibians, and insects, have also been adversely affected. Overall, the decline in water level has had a devastating effect on the wildlife that depends on the Euphrates River for sustenance. Action must be taken to restore the river to its former glory and ensure that the wildlife living in and around it can thrive once again. The decline in water level has also caused problems for farmers. The Euphrates River is one of the most important rivers in the Middle East, providing a vital source of water for both irrigation and drinking. Unfortunately, the water level of the Euphrates has been steadily decreasing for years due to a combination of drought and climate change. This decrease in water level has had a devastating effect on farmers. As the water level has dropped, it has become harder and harder for them to access the river's resources. This has resulted in crop failures, with some farmers losing their entire harvest in a single year. Furthermore, many farmers have had to find alternative sources of water, such as buying water from other countries or drilling wells, which can be expensive. The lack of water has also resulted in soil erosion, as dry soil is more prone to wind and rain erosion. In addition, Animals and insects have been affected by the water shortage, as they have been unable to access their traditional habitats due to the lack of water. This has also hurt the environment as a whole. The situation is dire, and many farmers are desperate for solutions. Solutions such as desalination plants and new infrastructure projects could help to address the problem. However, these solutions require significant investments of money and time. Until then, farmers must find other ways to cope with the lack of water in the Euphrates River. One way to make the best of this situation is by utilizing greywater systems, where greywater from households and businesses is used for agricultural purposes. This greywater contains nutrients that would otherwise be lost when wastewater flows into rivers and streams. Additionally, innovative farming techniques such as drip irrigation and mulching can reduce water loss and conserve water. By using these techniques, farmers can maximize what little water there is available to them. The decline in water level has led to increased tensions between Turkey and Syria. The Euphrates River is an important resource for both Turkey and Syria, and the dramatic drop in water levels has caused an increase in tension between the two countries. Turkey controls the majority of the river's flow through its control of the dams and reservoirs in its part of the river basin. As a result, Turkey has been accused of limiting the amount of water flowing into Syria, resulting in droughts and water shortages. This has led to protests in Syria against Turkey's control of the water supply. The situation has been further exacerbated by Turkey's construction of the Ilissu Dam on the Tigris River, which is a major tributary of the Euphrates. The dam will reduce the amount of water flowing downstream into Syria, leading to even greater water shortages in the country. This can help improve water quality and lessen the strain on current resources. Finally, international aid organizations should step in to help alleviate the humanitarian crisis stemming from water scarcity in the region, providing assistance to vulnerable populations who have been affected by dwindling water resources.